Breaking, Sahara Reporters Flora Seraki at Appeal Court. On 4BN Judgment Overturned. The Court of Appeal in Nyloran, Kwara State, has nullified the lower court's judgment that awarded a N4 billion cost as sum of damages against Sahara Reporters and its founder, Amoy Elsa Wa'ar, in a suit between the two and Kola Seraki, Nigeria's Senate President. On Tuesday, the appeal court set aside the judgment of Justice A.S. Oyen Lo of the Kwara State High Court in I. Loren delivered on June 28, 2017. The appeal court judges Honorable Justice Ibrahim Muhammad Musa Salawa, Honorable Justice Chidin Wa Omeyuwa and Honorable Justice Hamil Kotnabarki unanimously ruled that the judgment be nullified and assigned to a new trial judge at the lower court for a retrial. The account of Sahara Reporters Media Foundation, a non-governmental organization, was garnished in a suit between Sahara Reporters, an online citizen journalism news website, and the Senate President even though the foundation was never named in the suit, neither is it a news publishing platform. Justice Soyan Lo had entered a judgment of N4 billion against Sahara Reporters and its founder. Amoy Elsa Wa'ar, over allegations of defamation involving Seraki. However, the judgment was used to obtain a garnishee order against the foundation, a separate entity. Sometime in 2017, Seraki had sued Sahara reporters and its founder to the tune of N1 billion each as general damages for four different publications on Sahara reporters. He also sought the court for injunction restraining the defendants from further writing, printing or causing to be written, printed or circulated or otherwise published of the claimant, the said or similar libel. However, Stanley M. Hinrer, a senior lawyer from Falana and Falana's chambers, who represented Sahara reporters at both the High Court and the Appeal Court argued that his clients were never served in the motion on notice neither were they given an opportunity to defend themselves during the hearings that led to Justice Soy and Lowe's judgment. Paul Irokuro, Seraki's lead counsel, had claimed in court that he could not serve a counter-affidavit on the counsel for Sahara reporters because there was no address for service within the court's jurisdiction. He argued that he had no obligation to serve counsel directly unless the court ordered him to do so or if he sought the court's leave to serve counsel directly. Mhinner contested this argument, stating that his chambers had sent one Adams a bar to the chambers of Tunda Lomu and CO to pick up the counter affidavit, to no avail. He told the court that, Rather than give the document to Mr. Adbara, the chambers rudely dismissed him. He explained to the court that Seraki's lawyer had asked Adbara, who was to collect the counter affidavit, to meet with him on the premises of the court so that the bailiff could serve him, but Iro Crow failed to deliver on his promise. He told the court that multiple calls to Iro Crow were ignored. The case was, However, withdrawn from the lower court, having lost faith in the process and an appeal filed at the Court of Appeal. The protracted case had taken several turns before the eventual judgment of the appeal court. In one of the hearings at the Federal High Court in I. Lauren, journalists and student activists who had gone to court to observe the hearing were harassed by alleged loyalists of the Senate President. Reporters from Core TV, 8 News, and Channels TV who were in court to cover the proceedings were harassed and their cameras seized. They were also forced to erase footage of the court proceedings and the assaults that took place in the premises of the court. The touts, perceived to have been supporters of the Senate President, also assaulted a middle-aged woman, Funmi Jolayami Ajayi, stripped her naked and beat her. 
Ajayi, a civil society activist, had traveled from Lagos to observe the court proceedings in Ilorin.